Welcome to Unshakable with Human Design, the show dedicated to helping entrepreneurs use human design to shift from hustle to flow without sacrificing results. Come here to become an unshakable human and build an unshakable business according to your human design. I'm your host, Nicole Lano. Hello and welcome to Unshakable with Human Design, everybody. I'm your host, Nicole Lano, and I wanted to talk today about midlife. So I've just been seeing this. I've been hearing this. A lot of people talking about being in a gap. I know that we often think that it's the economy. There's definitely a squeeze happening in the world. We're all feeling that. We're feeling a shift. And there's definitely some more collective things that are going on. But then there's also the personal element to this. And I wanted to draw attention to life cycles. And there are cosmic events in all of our lives that cause us to go through certain changes. They are part of our evolutionary path. And I think that when we understand that these things are happening and we understand what they're doing for us, not to us, they're doing it for us, when we can look at it through the lens of how can I make this work for me? How can I find the lessons in this? Because, and if you've listened to my previous episode recently on deconditioning and what that really means, And I did the five stages of deconditioning and what that looks like and how we change beliefs. And one of just the core tenets in that is that nothing is happening to us. It's all happening for us. And if we start to look at our lives through the lens of seeing it all as very purpose-driven to get us to where we need to go, so from a human design perspective, If you're following your design, the whole idea is that you're following your design so that your purpose starts to work through you. You don't have to chase it. You don't have to intellectually understand exactly where you're going to end up in life, but that you trust that by taking steps and noticing the lessons and the obstacles that come across your path and you deal with them and you grow from them, that you are being pulled towards something bigger than just what you can see right in front of your face. Through understanding that these big shifts in life can shed a lot of light on how we can learn those lessons, what those lessons are, and what those lessons are for you in particular. And I wanted to talk just about, we all have like seasons in life, right? When you're in your mid-20s to early 30s, I grew up in a city. I had a lot of city friends. So it was more like late 20s, early 30s that we were going through wedding season where everybody was getting married where you went like every couple of weeks, you were going to somebody else's wedding. And then if you grew up more in a small town or if it's more traditional values that you have, that might have been in the early 20s. Like for my sister, who is just, we're very different people, her friends were getting married in their early 20s. That was more what she was seeing and going to those weddings at that stage of her life. We might get out of college and then it's like, okay, well, we graduated college and now we're going to everybody's weddings. And then a few years later, now you're going to everybody's baby showers. And that's what's happening in your life. There are these times, right? Well, now it feels like I work with a lot of people. Most of the people that I work with are in the 35 to 50 year old range. Now there's some on either side of that. But for the most part, the core of the people that I work with come to me somewhere in that midlife shift. And then some of it is in that 50 plus where they're in that wisdom phase. But I really want to talk about the core of the people that I work with are 35 to 50 years old. And usually it's because they're feeling some shift in their lives, that they are feeling a pull to something different. Now, I wanted to talk about what's a cosmic change that's happening at this time in life that can make you feel a little crazy or it can also make you feel like, wow, I'm finally getting clarity for the first time. But why does everything change around 40? Why does everything feel maybe like it's falling apart, but sometimes that can feel a little less fatalistic than that sounds, that it's all falling apart, but falling apart with a purpose? But there's a whole lot of trust in that phase. So why does it feel like there's this huge shift around that 40-year-old mark? There's actually a celestial cosmic element to this. And I want to break that down here. I want to break down like these stages of life, this life cycle analysis that we can do in human design. And this is certainly connected to astrology as well. But I specifically wanted to go into the nodes. And I wanted to talk about the nodes of the moon because they hold this really important place in the human design chart. 
They have a lot to do with what I do with my business by design clients. We focus on the nodes a whole lot because I would say that the nodes, your niche is in the nodes and we find our niche through understanding our nodes. So that's how I help people find their cosmic niche is through that nodal position and working with the nodes. But today I want to focus just on what are the nodes? Why should we pay attention to them? And how do we start to work with this and understand what they mean to us and start to use them as a tool in understanding of ourselves and how we can coach ourselves through life so that we are walking more on the path of our purpose and learning those lessons that are so important to us rather than feeling like a victim of the circumstance or thinking that these things are just happening to us or wondering why, God, why am I going through this right now? Why does this feel so bad? Because it can feel like a huge upheaval. So I'm going to break all of that down in this episode today. Now, first of all, we do have a masterclass coming up. I am doing my Authority Accelerator Masterclass. So if you're interested in understanding how the nodes play in your business, that cosmic niche that I'm talking about, I take you through my entire process of how you build a business by human design in this free workshop. People love it. This is definitely my most popular thing that I do. We are doing it again. If you would like to get in on that, all you have to do is DM me the word masterclass on Instagram. I'm at Nicole Lano official. We'll send you the link right there. Or you could go to nicolelano.com forward slash masterclass and you can register right there on the website. So just want to get that out of the way. If you are interested in building your business by human design, you will definitely want to be a part of this masterclass because it is fabulous. It is free. And everybody loves it. The feedback we get from this is truly off the charts. So first I want to break down like there's a few big life events that happen throughout our lives. Three big cosmic events. Okay. So we have our Saturn return. So and if you notice the ages that I'm going to give you from these particular events that happen in our astrological chart in the planetary arrangements and aspects that we're going to be talking about. If you notice, they're going to be aligned with a lot of big changes that we naturally have in our lives. And you might have thought that this is, oh, well, it's just time to settle down. It's actually a particular cosmic event that's maybe causing you to feel like it's time to settle down. Maybe it isn't societal pressures. Maybe it is more just that there's an internal pull for something different. I look at all of this stuff, human design, astrology, whatever it is that you are drawn to. I see them as tools for surrender, a way that we could surrender to what is and to ride the wave and ride the ride and enjoy the ride that we're on, right? Where we get into trouble is when we think like, why is this happening? And we start to question whether we're on a ride at all and we feel like I lost control. Now what do I do? Maybe you weren't as in control as you thought you were and maybe there's more surrender that's necessary. You know, look, mom, no hands might be the moment that we're all trying to get to in this life. How long can you ride just feeling like a passenger, as we call it in human design? So let's talk about these life cycle moments. So there's the Saturn return, which happens around the age of 28 to 30, 31. Usually in that period, I think mine was right at 28, I hit my Saturn return. So Saturn return is when Saturn is the planet of discipline. We're not going to go into Saturn returns here, but we often think of this as a turning point in life when we settle down. Saturn is a planet of boundaries, of discipline, of a shift toward learning lessons. So this can be just a natural time that we feel like, oh, maybe it's time to settle down. I got married at 30. So it's that time of life. And it felt right. It felt very right in that moment. Like, yes, this is the time to be doing this. Then we have the Uranus opposition, which happens somewhere between, they say, 38 to 42. I know people who have gone through it as late as 44. So that can have a bigger swing there. I have one client in particular that I think about. Hers was 44. Mine was 42. Like right at 42 years old, I hit my Uranus opposition. And this is one of those things where there's two things that happen. So we have the Uranus opposition that happens at this time, and we also were shifting the nodal position. And I'm going to talk about what the nodes are, but there is a south node and a north node, and these are the nodes of the moon, and they have significant themes in our life, and they represent the evolutionary path that our soul is on. We're going from some place to some place. This is the, as they call it, like the horizontal movement of our life. 
us moving from one end of our story to the other, from the beginning to the end. That's what the nodes are. And that happens during that Uranus opposition, this, like, right in that same pocket, we have that happening. And I'm going to come back to this one because I do want to mention the last cycle that most of us will hit is the Chiron return. And that happens around the age of 50. This is the one that's really important for the six line beings. If you are a 6-2, a 4-6, any, any 3-6, three, 6-3, six, six, three, these are going to be really important for you because that's going to signify when you come down off the roots as a six line. It happens at that Chiron return, and that happens right around the age of 50. Mine will happen at 50 years old. So these are big, key cosmic moments in our lives where shifts happen, okay? And now I want to focus mainly on this Uranus opposition and the shift in the nodes, because this is why everything changes at 40, why we shift so much. Let's talk a little bit about Uranus. Now, I'm not an astrologer, so I'm not pretending to be, but I do know a bit about this stuff. I can give you the high level of what Uranus means. Uranus is the planet of shaking things up, individuality, innovation. It is a bit of a known for turbulence, so to speak, that it likes new. It shakes things up. So the fact that this happens right around a time when we feel like life gets shaken up quite a bit, is it life? Or is it that it's just time for this to happen? Now, what we focus more on in the human design world are the nodes. So you get a south node and you get a north node. Now, you get them on two sides of the chart. You get them on your design side and you get them on your personality side. So you get two sets of nodes. Some people will have the same nodes. People ask me this all the time. Is it weird that I have the same nodes on my design side of my chart and on the personality side? Not weird at all. Very, very common. Do they have to be the same? Nope. It's all about when you were born. It's all about the time that you were born. So I happen to be born at a time where the nodes shifted between my design date and my birth date. So I have different nodes on my design side than I have on my personality side. But many people have them the same because I believe the node change. We stay in the same nodes for anywhere from like a year to 18 months. So if you have somebody who's born right around the time that you were born, so people in your class growing up, we have very similar themes in these ways because most of us will have at least some of the nodes will be the same. You will either have the life, the design side, the world that you were born into, and I'll get more into this, or the way that you see things, which is like the personality side. When we look at the nodes, what they provide us with, the nodes are opposite positions. They are 180 degrees apart. So the south node is an exact opposite of the north node. And the south node represents our past life theme. Some people believe it's like past lives, your soul, what you have been through in previous lifetimes and you have mastered and you have gone through over and over again. These are the themes that have been yours forever. That's your south node theme. And then we are evolving into the opposite. The lessons that we are here to learn have to do with our North Node themes. This is where we grow into our purpose, this evolutionary step that we can take from going from one thing, from one world, bringing the lessons and the wisdom and all that we know inherently from that South Node theme and bringing it into the North Node theme and growing through the themes of this North Node. Now, when I look at somebody's chart and they tell me they're 42 or something and I look at their chart, I see their age and they tell me that they're going through all these things where nothing feels right anymore. I don't know. I used to love this thing that I was doing, but I'm feeling pulled to something else. Or I don't know what it is, but I don't feel connected to this thing that I've been doing for so long that used to feel so easy for me. That used to feel so right. And now I no longer feel like it's right. And maybe sometimes it feels like they're being pulled to something else. And that's scary. And sometimes they're like, I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what's next. And that scares shit out of me. And then I look at their chart and I'll see that they are right in the middle of this transition. So yes, we have that Uranus opposition where the planet Uranus is putting pressure to change, to evolve, to shift, to let things go, to shake things up. Yes, we have that. The way that I picture this is 
Remember like the protractors in school? You had look like a half a moon. If you had that where it was facing horizontal, where you had one end was the beginning, was one side, and the other end was the other, and you have this big arc that it goes through, if you're right in the middle of that arc, just like if you were in a movie, the plot line, you'd hit that middle point of the movie, that high point of act two where everything changes, that's what 40 is. That's what the nodal shift is. Because what I see with people is it's almost like you never lose the theme of your life. You never lose who you always were. That's always with you. But at some point, at that middle point, it stops being the main thing. It's almost like you can no longer be attached to it in the same way that you have to look forward or nothing feels right. Everything shifts. And the way that this works, you can look at this from a zodiac perspective. So you can look at it like my south node is in Aries and my north node is in Libra. They are opposites each other. So Aries is the theme that I came in with, but I'm learning the lessons of Libra. So you can look at it from that perspective. You can look at it from, I'm going from this to this. Now, human design gives us a way to drop down even further into the themes. You can look at it from those zodiac signs, but then you can go a level deeper to the actual gates that you have. So if I look at my design node gates, my gate is 25 is my design south node and my design north node is 46. So I have these two, these are my polarities. They are opposites each other on the human design wheel. So I was born into and I have gone through forever. (laughs) It does feel like I've had lifetimes and lifetimes full of spiritual work, full of understanding universal love. That's what the theme of the 25th gate is. So My work of looking at that 25th gate and understanding what that means to me, and if I were to look at it through the lens of saying, these are things that I just know innately, and I have always known them innately. I never needed anyone to teach me that stuff. I never needed anyone to make me feel the love of the universe. I never needed anyone to teach me religion. I never needed that stuff because it just lived in me so, so deeply. Healing work. All of the stuff that I do and the work that I do is very much embedded in that 25th gate. But when I look at 46 and I look at the lessons of the body and bringing things from that spiritual realm into the physical realm, well, when I look at it like that, it's like, oh, I see the work that I have to do. And it's uncomfortable and it's been difficult, but it has been the most transformative work I have done. Now, it goes deeper than that. Those are the main bigger themes that how we can start to really dig into how these nodal themes show up for us. And it made a lot of sense that around 42, my business started to change quite a bit. I teach human design for business. I teach you how to put it into action. I teach you how to embody it. That shift came right around this time. So it can start to guide your path, make you feel very comfortable taking the steps that feel very right to you, even though they feel maybe like a big departure from what you've always done. It can make you feel very empowered to make big, bold moves in the direction that your heart feels called to versus you logically looking at it and being like, well, I've never done that before. I don't know. That doesn't feel right. I don't know that this person, this coach tells me that that's not the right way. I should do it this way. We're all about letting go of those shoulds, right? And this is a really beautiful, empowering way to start making those shifts that feel innately good to us. Now, I know that I have thrown a lot of information at you here that this can be a heady concept for you. So we do have a guide for you if you are interested in this. Just go to nicolelano.com forward slash nodes, N-O-D-E-S, and you can download the guide there. You can DM me the word nodes on Instagram. Just that word, please. Don't put like nodes, please, or anything like that, or it won't trigger the bot to send you the link, but we'll send you the link to the guide. You can download it there. If you're interested in that, where we just broke down these concepts for you of the nodes and how they work. So you see how we are opposites that before 40, we are living in alignment with what we've always been. And throughout our lives, we are being called to this greater purpose. And in human design, the nodes have a direct relationship with your incarnation cross. So everybody wants to know their purpose. Everybody wants to know what their incarnation cross means. 
They want to know how they live it. And the truth is, is that the nodes are the path, the evolutionary path that you have to be walking on in order to what we call plant your cross. So it's the evolutionary work that you'll be doing that will allow you to actually say, this is my purpose. I know it. This is how it works through you rather than you running around chasing it, wondering how do I live my purpose? How do I live my purpose? So many people tell me in a human design reading when they fill out the form that I ask them, I ask them a bunch of questions before they book the reading with me. And if you want to dive into your specifics, please book a reading. That's just the easiest way to do it. You can DM me the word reading on Instagram and we'll send you the link for that. Or you could go to the website under the work with me section. We have those there. But I ask people in readings, what do you want to get out of this? And they tell me all the time, I want to know how to live my purpose. And they think that it's some sort of answer that they'll get. I'll tell you, this is your purpose. This is what you're here for. And then they'll just leave the reading and they'll now be living their purpose. If only it were so easy. And we can often look at the cross elements, the the conscious sun, conscious earth, unconscious sun, unconscious earth. We can also often look at that and try to engineer it and be only working with those gates. And that's a huge part of it. And it's absolutely work that I do. That's a huge part of business by design is working with your incarnation cross. But another element that people don't talk about as much is the nodes, is how walking the path of your evolution allows those gates in your cross to actually have greater purpose in your life. The clarity comes, it's like, oh, I get it now. By working on the lessons of my North Node, by actually working with this stuff, that's how I'm being connected to the real energies and the higher gifts of my Incarnation Cross. They work together. This is the path. This is how you walk the path of your purpose. So if you're interested in the guide, DM me the word nodes on Instagram. I'm at Nicole Lano Official or go to NicoleLano.com forward slash nodes. You can go right there and grab that guide. And if you want to come to the masterclass and you want to see how I take the nodes, how I take all the elements in the human design chart that I call the authority matrix, and I help you build an authority platform so that you are an authority to others and you are an authority to yourself and that you build a business by your human design, then please DM me the word masterclass on Instagram. I'm at Nicole Lano official and we'll send you the link to register and or go to nicolano.com forward slash masterclass and you can register right there on the website hope you liked this. I hope that this helped you understand a little bit more about why these life changes, when you feel like you're crazy, you're not really crazy. There's just shifts that are happening and you're being called to something different, that it's no longer a call that you can ignore, that it's something that you have to start listening to because it's almost like this is the past now. This theme that I have known always, things are going to have to fall away. Some things are going to have to shift. Some things that I relied on in my past very well may not be able to come with me into this next phase of my life. But when you know where you're going, when you understand what that trajectory looks like, it can make that scary walk and letting go of some of those things maybe feel a little less frightening, a little less out of nowhere and make you feel like, oh, okay, I get this. I'm still scared. There's still things that I'm doing that feel very risky and very different. But it's almost like if I look at it and I say, but I know where I'm going and I get it and I know the lessons that I should be trying to learn through this. It'll make the turbulence make a whole lot more sense and it'll give you something to surrender to. And it gives you some element of control, which I know I love. I love feeling in control. So I love the fact that I can say, well, this is the work I can do to make this really a growth path for me and make the growth happen faster. And feel like I am working with these energies rather than holding on for dear life or hiding because that's not where great things come from. Growth doesn't come from either one of those places. It comes from looking straight into the situation, straight into the feelings, straight into this change and saying, okay, what's demanded of me? What am I being asked of right now? What am I being called to right now? And doing the work. So I hope this inspired you to do the work. Thank you for being here. I hope to see you in the masterclass. I hope you download the guide and you love it. Thank you so much. And remember, in order to have an unshakable business, you must first become an unshakable human. So thanks for letting us help you become unshakable with human sign, everybody. We'll see you next time. 
If you love this episode and you're a fan of the show, please show us the love on iTunes, Spotify, or wherever you're listening to the show and leave us a review. And if you'd like to connect with other entrepreneurs on their human design journey, join our free Facebook community, Human Design for Entrepreneurs. Go to nicolelano.me forward slash podcast links to join the group, book a human design reading with me, or access our free human design resources. We'll see you there.